Hello, 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 Leo. How you doing? How you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. How's everybody doing? Hello, all of my new subscribers, my OG subscribers. I love you guys. Come on in, cross watchers. How y'all feeling? How you doing? I love you guys. Let's get started. Let's see what's in your energy, Leo. Spirit guys, God, this is for Leo. What's in the energy for Leo? What's in Leo's energy? Let's see what's in your energy today, Leo. Woo, bravery just popped out. Bravery just popped out. Miracles is about to happen in somebody's life. A miracle is going to take place once you make a decision. First card came out as bravery, and I had this card with Aries, okay? It's a decision that you need to make, all right? It's something that you are in fear of that you need to make a decision about. <clears throat> okay, and it says, Leo, oh, happy birthday. It is a Leo season. Happy, happy birthday to all the Leos. I don't know why y'all have not checked out my lives, Leo. I've been shouting y'all out, been saying happy birthday to y'all on my lives on Tuesday nights and Wednesday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern time. Why haven't y'all came over to the live? I've been shouting out all the Leos, the Leo season. Happy birthday to all of you. Happy belated birthday. Happy birthday to come. Now, come on over there and support me. I love you guys. Now, you say you want me to do readings for you, but you don't want to come over and support me. Now, come on. It got to go both ways. All right. I'm just saying. But happy birthday to all of you. Now, back to this card, Bravery. It says, you're being asked to make a tough decision that you've been putting out because of fear, which is understandable, but you do have the strength and bravery to make this decision, and you will feel so much lighter when you do. So there's a decision that you've been putting off that you need to make, but you've been putting it off because you're afraid that you're afraid in fear of something, okay? The second card that came out is Miracles. Miracles happen every day. All God wants you to do, whoever your higher source wants you to do, uh, Leo, is step out on faith, okay? Do not let fear hold you back, but step out on faith because miracles happen every day. That very thing that you're afraid of, that very thing that you think you can't get no resolution from, God can turn... Uh, you, you, God can turn a uh, 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 denial into approval. God can create a miracle in your life overnight. God can create, uh, whoever your higher source can create a, a miracle in your life in the blink of an eye, okay? But you have to make this decision and stop putting it off be based on fear because miracles happen every single day. Every day, miracles happen. Miracle, 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 miracle. If a lot of you don't know and you're new to my channel, I am a miracle. I was misdiagnosed at the beginning of the year of having lung cancer. I am a miracle. I still say that God healed me, okay? When I went and got the x-ray, the first x-ray showed spots. The second x-ray showed nothing. So I know God stepped in and created a miracle in my life because he said, my work here is not done yet. So miracles happen every single day. The next card is soar. Fly like an eagle. Soar like an eagle. Stop dimming your light. Spirit guides want you to stop dimming your light, whoever you are, Leo. And it says you're being asked to stop dimming your own light, period. It's time for you to come out of the shadows and let your authentic self soar. Fly high, dear one. You've been dimming your light based on off of fear okay some of you you know need to be your authentic self okay you need to soar you need to step out from behind the shadows some of you have a lot a lot of skills some of you are afraid to step out and do something and spirit guys god said i need you to stop dimming your light okay miracles happen every day every day Spirit, I gotta say everything, everything at the bottom of the deck, abundance. Hold on, y'all, let me fix the camera, hold on. Bottom of the deck is abundance. Yep, when you step out, when you step out on faith and stop having fear, faith over fear, faith over fear, 
okay? That's when God is going to show up and show out in your life. But you got to get out of your own way. Sometimes we can block our own blessings. It don't take nobody else to block them. We can block our own blessings. It's no witchcraft anybody doing on you. You could be doing this to yourself, blocking your own blessing because you're in a fear of what might go wrong instead of looking at it as what's going to be is going to be, okay? But God is trying to perform a blessing, trying to perform a miracle, trying to perform an abundance of something, a breakthrough in your life, but you got to step out on faith. You got to stop dimming your light and you got to step out and uh, so that God can show you what he is made of so that you can see what it is that you're doing. It had to be a miracle because man had nothing to do with this. But you got to believe. Like Mary J. Blige said, you got to believe, got to believe in me, you got to believe. Yeah, seven of cups, seven of cups, options. See how this man looking? Bottom of the deck, seven of cups, options. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, uh should I go for that? Uh, but what if I don't? But what if? But what if? But what if? But what, but what if? But what if it does? But what if it does? See, you like, you don't know what to do. You don't know if you should pick that one. You got so many options. You don't know if you should pick that one, if you shouldn't. Should I go for that one? Should I not? Stop dimming your light and go for what you know. Oh, this is for somebody. May not resonate with everybody, but this is for somebody. And baby, let me tell you something. Everybody's on different timelines. Okay? Remember, everybody on different timelines. Everybody ain't on the same timeline. For some of you, this already happened. For some of you, you're going through this trying to be brave and step out. Step out on faith and don't let fear overcloud your judgment. Some of you, you're about to go through this in your near future. That spirit guys want you to stop dimming your light and step out and have faith. That's what this is all about. Step out, have faith because miracles take place every day. Abundance, that breakthrough can come through, but you got to believe. You got to believe in it. You can pray about it, manifest it, do whatever you want to do. But if you don't believe in what you're praying for, it ain't coming. I don't give a crap. It ain't coming. So whatever this is, God has given, given you Spirit guys have given you the decision, like this is the one for you. But for some reason, you having a problem making this decision. It's it's like spirit guys, God already done gave you signs and synchronicities to pick this one. Okay, but you still in this energy of. Uh, you know, this energy, anytime you have your hand like that, that means that your hand in your mouth is like you're not sure, you're not quite sure, you're indecisive, and your finger, and you know, I don't know if I should do it or not. You need to stop dimming your light and start soaring like an eagle, soaring like a bird, and fly high, baby. Fly above it, fly high, be brave. Faith over fear. Faith over fear. But faith without works is dead. Faith without works. You got to work in order for it to work. You got to work it for it to work. Oh, this is for somebody. I'm talking today. I am. I'm talking today. That's a lot of cards, spirit. I'm talking today. Yeah, you got the moon card here in the reverse. I mean, in the upright. Yeah, the moon is all about the fear of the unknown. You see what I'm saying? You see how this woman is up under this, okay? Okay. The fear of the unknown, you're afraid. What is going to happen out there? The moon is illusion. The moon is the fear, secret. We, you know, you got to come out of that. Faith over fear. Faith without works is dead. Remember that whoever you are, it's time to move forward. Tell me more, spirit. Soulmate connection. Making a connection with somebody. That's what it is. You're wondering if whoever this is, is, you know, God has given you the sign. Spirit has given you signs of synchronicity that this is a good partner for you. But some of you are still doubting yourself. You, 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 it's like, ah, like you got the signs that this is the person, but you're doubting yourself. 
this is this is and and the reason why i feel like you're doubting yourself because this person is somebody you it's like this person is it because you haven't met no one like this before and this is because it is abundantly blessed for you it's for you but you gotta pick it which one you gonna pick door number one door number two or door number three door number one it's the one that spirit God's trying to have been giving you signs and synchronicities. Door number two, you got this red one over here, which is nothing but toxicity in the devil. You got all kind of doors over here, but God is telling you that the one that you are contemplating about is the one that is going to change your life for the better. Yeah. Some of you, yeah, that's, that's right. Spirit guys, give me another card for Leo. Give me another card. I need one more. I need one more for Leo. Woo, okay. Yep, high priestess. Look here, uh, uh, knight of swords. It's coming. Look at here, high priestess. You already know that this person that you're seeking... Or this person that's seeking, running after you, they're coming. Okay, they coming to choose you. This person, you are very spiritual gifted. And you need to go for what you know. Stop dimming your light. Or this person is coming to get you. Now, are you going to accept this person? Which door are you going to pick? Are you going to pick door number one or door number two? That's up to you, sweetheart, sir, whoever you are. But your intuition with this high priestess here, your intuition, your higher self already know that this the person. But you are allowing fear to hold you back. You got to be brave. You got to be brave. When you make this decision, it's going to bring so make you feel so much lighter a lot of abundance in this connection okay a lot of abundance a lot of prosperity in this connection when you make this decision some of you got to make a decision between going in partnership with somebody this could be a business or this can be an actual person but it's going to bring a lot of business to you it's going to create a lot of a lot of abundance in your life it's just going to be a miracle so this could be a partnership or this can be a, a person coming into your life, okay? Because miracles happen every day. I feel as though what this card says here, Leo, you're being asked and open up, open to abundance to believe that you are deserving of it and believe that it will flow to you. This is the first important step towards receiving it. Spirit guys, God said, breathe deeply and trust that it is on its way. Miracles happen every single day which door are you gonna take to all of my beautiful soul put in the comment do not allow fear to have to to um hold you back from your happiness okay believe that you are deserving of it go after there go and go get it go get what you want go get it faith without work is dead Faith over fear. Don't let fear hold you back. Any, many, mighty, mo. It says, if you study long, you study wrong. If you study long, Leo, you study wrong. Any, many, mighty, mo. Door number one, door number two. Put in the comment. Door number one, Miss Paul's Thoughts and Energy, or door number two. Door number one is where Spirit Guys is giving you the, all the clarification and the synchronicities and the signs that this is the better fit for you, whether this is a partnership, job opportunity, or this is a person coming into your life. Whatever it is, go get it. Faith without work is dead. Whatever it is, take a chance. Faith without work is dead. Or you could take door number two over here where it's red at. <clears throat> A lot of toxicity, a lot of devil energy, a lot of things that is not going to make you happy. Which one you going to do it? Don't mess around and make the wrong move based off of fear. Because that fear could hold you back for the next five to nine years. I'm just saying, I'm positive thoughts, the energy in my lessons, in my readings, there are lessons, blessings, and confirmations. 
You just got to be vigilant and, and uh, listen to the message. So what is it going to be, Leo? I'm Positive Thoughts and Energy, my beautiful souls. Until next time.